Chapter 4, Warm-Blooded and Cold-Blooded Animals. Rattenboro here again. In Chapter 2, you learned how scientists classify living things into one group called kingdoms. You learned about the animal and plant kingdoms. You also learned that animals and other living things are classified into more specific groups. Today, you will learn more about the animal kingdom. You will learn that there are many kinds of animals that have different characteristics. Scientists study these different characteristics to divide the animal kingdom into more specific groups. Many animals such as cats, mice, rats, cows, elephants, tigers, and even people belong to a group called mammals. So, you and I are mammals. All mammals have hair, but some have more hair or fur than others. You have to get pretty close to an elephant to see its hair, but it is a mammal. Another characteristic of mammals is that they give birth to live babies. Mammal babies begin breathing, moving, and looking for food as soon as they are born. Mammal mothers make milk to feed their newborns. This is another key characteristic of all mammals. Do you think this crocodile is a mammal? Answer. No. Why not? Crocodiles have scales, not hair or fur. Crocodiles lay eggs and baby crocodiles hatch from those eggs. A baby crocodile does not get milk from its mother. Its first meal might be a bug. Later, he'll eat bigger animals. Crocodiles belong to a different group of animals called reptiles, along with snakes, lizards, and turtles. Scientists also classify animals as mammals or reptiles based on how the animal controls their body temperature. All animals need to keep a constant temperature inside their bodies for their bodies to work properly. If an animal gets too hot or too cold, its body will not work the way it should. An animal may become sick or even die. Mammals are warm-blooded animals. When warm-blooded animals are in a cold place, they use energy from food they eat to help keep their bodies warm. Some warm-blooded animals shiver to keep warm. When they shiver, their bodies make heat to keep warm. When warm-blooded animals are somewhere hot, their bodies react in a different way to cool off. Some warm-blooded animals, like people, sweat to stay cool. Dogs pant to stay cool. Other warm-blooded animals drink lots of water as a way to cool off. Did you know that cows need to drink almost a bathtub full of water a day? Warm-blooded animals act in different ways. To maintain a constant temperature inside their bodies, mammals can live in habitats with different temperatures because their bodies do not rely on the environment. Warm-blooded animals, like mammals, must eat often to make energy to heat or cool their bodies. Most warm-blooded animals need to eat every day. Some need to eat every hour. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals. The body temperature of cold-blooded animals changes depending on the outside temperature. They become hot when it is hot outside and cold when it is cold outside. But cold-blooded animals must also keep a constant temperature for their bodies to work properly. Cold-blooded animals do not use energy from their bodies to stay warm or cool. Instead, they use what is around them to keep them warm or cool. Crocodiles stay in water or mud in order to keep cool on hot days. If they need to warm up on cooler days, they bask in the sun. While warm-blooded animals can live in just about any habitat, cold-blooded animals can only live in certain habitats. Cold-blooded animals do not need to eat as often as warm-blooded animals. This is because they do not need lots of food to make energy to warm or cool their bodies. Most crocodiles only eat once a week, but they can live for months and sometimes years without eating. 